What's up everybody? I'm Cad. I'm a graphic designer, artist, you know what it is. Let me say something. So I've been drawing cartoons and comics my entire life. Whether it was composition notebooks uh, that I used to go back and forth with my friend Sean, the paper towels that we used to use to basically entertain ourselves during church service instead of listening to the word. Um, I know how my imagination needs to come out of my head, right? But I've had the same issue with many projects that aren't client projects. Like I can, I can do a client project amazing. But for some reason, when it comes to me, I always struggled. And in this comic book passion project, I learned a lot about myself and a lot about the project. A lot of these things that I'm gonna say is gonna be right out of Kung Fu Panda because that's really where I began my lessons from. So, number one, get comfy with your tools, right? You may not have the best tools, it may not be world class, but get really comfortable with them to where they feel like a second part it's like in martial arts where they are like you have to feel attached either to the earth to your hands you got to make sure that all your tools that you're using to win the battle they are like second nature to use for you for me it's my Cintiq pen uh, my pro grip pen it's my Cintiq screen and then my mac mini you have to get really comfortable using these these tools because this is your bread and butter you know once you get comfortable with them it'll be easier to create for me the biggest hurdle was how the display screen felt the glass thing bothered me so even though I can draw on paper and with pen and marker and I'm trying to translate that to the computer that was my biggest hurdle because it felt unnatural and then I had to learn settings and I had to learn my shortcuts even though I already knew them they felt disconnected from how it was supposed to be creatively you know so learn your tools spend a lot of time with it oh gosh it's the big one number two learn which thoughts are your thoughts and which thoughts are coming from outside sometimes and most of the times comparison is a thief of joy before we knew there was such great people out there and there's so much of us so awesome we really just drew we just drew on the paper and said yes it's the great the greatest thing ever and yes it gives us something to aspire to but sometimes looking at other people's art does bad things for our brain it's like oh my gosh i'll never be to that level but it is a, it's a goal to aspire to right don't you know mind you but you need to really have a fortitude of mind where you're just saying look no matter if this is good or not i'm going to create because at least if i just start creating I can keep creating, like, fixing this thing to look the way I want it to look. You don't want to get bogged down by your thoughts. Sometimes my thoughts are like, hey, how's this going to pay the bill immediately? And I've learned in this long career of mine that there is no quick and fast way to do this. You have to go through the entire process, okay? Um, next thing I learned, number three, I know I say this a lot. I always say this. And people are going to say, oh, in your video, you're always repeating your same advice. Take a break. But for me, I'm going to say, go and pet the dog. I, I don't know where you're going to find a dog. I found a dog. Pet the dog. Let the dog just relax your mind. Because all dogs want to do is be happy with you and eat. And eat all your food. Eat all of your food. I'm not. They want to eat all your food. Anyway. Oh my gosh, time management. I know people say it like a buzzword, but manage your time. Know when to start, know when to take breaks and stop taking breaks. Know when you should stop work and spend time with your loved ones. Because as a designer, it's very easy when you're doing freelance to go too far and end up not spending any time with your people. And people end up resenting you because you're spending so much time working instead of with them. So let them know, hey, I'm about to do this project. It might take me three hours, but after that, I'm all yours. You know, it might take me the whole day to work on, but let's do a nighttime movie together. Let's go do something maybe you know you have to schedule it so that you don't have clients calling you at 9 p.m because there's people who feel really comfortable to call you at 10. you have to make boundaries and set times for yourself it seems really crazy but you really have to 
combine the business with the creative. That's the whole thing, you know? Oh gosh, number five. I don't know if I said it before, but you need to figure out your why. You need to figure out why you're doing this. Why is this important? For me, this project, this passion project was all about me proving to myself that I can draw and then create animation from that drawing in a way that I've always wanted to. And then I wanted to show people, you know, prospective clients that, hey, look, you might not want a comic, but you might want animation. You might want the type of typography care I'm gonna put into this project because I'm an artist, but I'm also a graphic designer. So I'm trying to give you both. You know, I have the goal of, you know, this is self-expression, but it's also marketing. It's also showing people, oh yeah, no, he has skills. Oh, he actually knows color. Everything has some kind of goal. And lastly, the most important thing, I'm taking this from Kung Fu Panda, the secret ingredient is you. The Dragon Master said it the best. You are the secret ingredient. And once you realize that, everything else begins to fall away. I was Kareem and this is Draw With Me. Draw with me, yeah.